Okay, so today we're just doing a quick video on Rolle's theorem, and um, we're really focusing on the mean value theorem, and that's what Rolle's theorem sort of leads us to. The mean value theorem has a wider application than Rolle's theorem, but this is what this, um, uh, I, th I think it's Mikkel, Mikkel Rolle, um, a French mathematician in the uh, late 1600s. He came up with this idea. Now what he said was this. <clears throat> he said that it, if f of a, and here's a, if f of a is equal to f of b, and both of those values are equal to zero. Now that is that those are x-intercepts, right? For any function, okay? Because it's f of and f of. So the x-intercepts here, or f of a equals f of b equals zero, it was proved, and we're not going to go into the proof at all, but for, the, for all polynomials, which of course are continuous and all that sort of stuff, um, using geometry, he proved that there has to be some point uh, on the graph in between A and B. There has to be some point where the slope of the tangent line is zero. Now, if you think about that, or if you actually put this into practice, and I'm going to make, I'm going to make uh, a few of these graphs here. Okay, let's see. Here we go, and another one. Oh wow, just jump all over the place on me. Okay, so I'm going to make a few of these here, and um, I'm going to I'm going to make a few different types of of graphs. Okay, so I'm going to make kind of a crazy one like that, and you know, here's another one like this. And of course, we have this one here too. So, what this is saying is that if you have two intercepts anywhere, so let's say this is A and this is B, and that f of A equals zero and f of B equals zero, if the graph is continuous, then there will be at least one point where you have to have, a, a, like, basically. Um, a local max from in. Or, n not necessarily I guess, but you have to have some point where the slope of the tangent line is zero. Now we could have, which I didn't draw, we could have, here's A, here's B, and the line right on the x-axis, right? You could have that, no local max from in, but there is at least one point where the slope of the tangent is zero. So that's not notwithstanding this. But if you have like a regular graph or even some kind of crazy graph like this, there's at least one point, and there may be more, where the derivative is zero. So again, here and here, sure, we have lots of points. There, 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 right? And again, here, and even the next one, there has to be one point at least where the derivative is zero. So I challenge you to draw some kind of continuous sort of polynomial describing function where this doesn't hold true. And it, it's found that it does. So, Roll distrusted calculus. This is the interesting part. And spent most of his life denouncing it. Okay? He was not a big calculus fan. It's interesting and ironic that he is known today only for an unintended contribution to a field he tried to suppress. So, this is kind of funny. And, of course, Roll's theorem, and again, you want to just remember that, that if f of a equals f of b equals zero, there must be, and I don't think that it's actually fleshed out here in this little graphic that I have for you, but there must be a point, uh, f of c, where the slope of that tangent is zero. So you might want to just take a, a moment to jot that down for Rolle's theorem, and I can do that for you down here as well. All right, so, so this, this would be a good sort of working, uh, working explanation of Rolle's theorem. If f of a equals f of b equals zero, that is x-intercepts, for any polynomial graph, so it's continuous and it's differentiable, then there exists a point c on the open interval a to b, that's between a and b, where the derivative of that point c has to equal zero. So this is Rolle's theorem. Now, here's the thing. We could have, um, it doesn't have to be x-intercepts we're talking about either, because if you consider this, and let me just see if I can do this, okay? I'm going to try and I'm going to try and move this graph. Look at this. I'm going to move it up. So what if they aren't intercepts? Can you see that? What if they aren't intercepts? And they are, they're just on the same horizontal line. See that? That theorem will still hold true, even if these aren't intercepts. As long as f of a equals f of b, and it doesn't matter if it's 0, actually, 
that theorem still holds true. Are you good with that? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Sure. So that I can't move that just that one individually here. Let's see. Come on. Yes. Okay, there we go. I did it. So you see this one too. F of A equals F of B. Okay. So that's Rolle's theorem. That's Rolle's theorem. That's all it is. Now what's interesting though is let's not talk about let's not talk about um, f of a equaling f of b. Let's pick any two random points. And I want to I want to to show you something. So let's say I have a graph looks like this, and I'm going to pick any two random points like this one and this one. Okay, made them really big. These two points on the graph. Now if we could find the average rate of change between these two points, average, that is just the slope between those two points. If this blue graph is continuous and differentiable, we should be able to find not a point where the derivative is zero, but a point where the derivative is what? Well, how would you complete that sentence? A point that the derivative is equal to the, s the average rate of change between A and B. So look at this. You see this? These lines, these tangent lines are parallel. So if it works for horizontal, right, why wouldn't it work for parallel, right? I mean, you could really take this uh, function, you could tilt it over a little bit, make them intercepts, and you have all those same lines. So if you just tilted it a bit, still a function, still a function, it should work. So if you pick any two points here, like here and here, the average rate of change, let's say the slope is 2, okay, well you should find at least one point that has a tangent line with the exact same slope. And of course here we find many. Right? And that is the mean value theorem. Okay? So there's Rolle's theorem and there's mean value theorem. So I'm going to explain the mean value theorem first. But the Rolle's theorem uh, is stated here as the um, f of a equals f of b and I'm going to move into uh, mean value theorem.